All right, a quick little demo here. I'm going to make an all-purpose spray. It is super easy, really inexpensive to make, and we get to reuse the bottles, which is really cool. So the reason why I like to make my own cleaners is because the air in our home is actually, believe it or not, more toxic than the air that we're breathing outside, even if we are in a very populated area with a lot of pollutants like car and and engine exhaust and so it's really important to be able to decrease that toxic load because that has a burden on our endocrine system which is our hormone system on our skin on all kinds of different things and so this all-purpose cleaner is a really great way to replace a lot of the cleaners that we may be buying at the store and it costs probably un let's see it's I think under a dollar to refill this spray bottle which is really cool so this is part of my bottle set so as you can see it has my labels on here it also has the recipe on the bottle and the uses on the bottle so it makes it really easy to be able to refill you don't have to go digging through you know paperwork and recipes trying to figure out what to actually put in the bottle so i'm going to be using doTERRA's on guard cleaner concentrate this stuff is awesome it smells really good non-toxic really easy to use so you use about two tablespoons per 16 ounce bottle like this. This is glass, you can also use aluminum, um, which I'm gonna be experimenting with because it's a little bit lighter and it doesn't have the chance of breaking, but I've actually done pretty good with this. This is pretty solid. So, what you do, so I've kind of pre-measured out that two of these capfuls is actually two tablespoons. So, I'm just gonna pour them in here. And what I also like to do is add essential oils depending on the specific need that I have. And so for instance, sometimes we get ants in our kitchen, but actually not since I incorporated this trick. So I actually just add about 20 drops of peppermint to the bottle to help re repel any kind of insects. And I'm just gonna do about 10 for the video here. All right, perfect. And then you're just going to add water to this and you have an all-purpose spray that you can use on your windows, countertops, your car is a really good use for it, literally anything that you want in the bathroom. It's really effective and it's really good actually for stain removal too. So hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next video. All right, so I wanted to quickly show you guys how I like to make my glass and disinfectant spray. So you can use this for a variety of different things. So you can use it for windows, mirrors, sponges, because we all know sponges get real gnarly and gross. Cutting boards, you can use it for your shower. You can actually use this as a fruit and veggie wash, which I honestly need to get better at doing. But this makes it easier, right? You just spray them down, or you can actually pour this out and soak your veggies, which will probably work even better than that, and then you just refill it. So what is in this? It's super simple. Again, this is part of my bottle set, so it has the recipes and the uses on it. So this is just about three-fourths of the way full with water, fourth white vinegar, and about 30 drops of lemon. So the coolest thing about you, this, you guys, is it only costs a dollar and 36 cents to refill. So once you get the basic ingredients that I just listed, that's how much it costs to refill. And if you really wanted to, you could even spray this in your mouth and it's not gonna harm you. So I'm gonna make this really quickly just to kind of do it with you guys and to show you the process and how easy it is. So let's angle it down. Don't mind my messy dishes. All right, so I'm gonna use some filtered water here. So I don't really measure it per se, but I just fill it up however much water that I want to, about three-fourths of the way full, I overdid it, and then I add the rest with white vinegar. I try to get this in bulk, I just get this from Costco. So I just top this off here, again, add it a little bit too much. There we go. And the cool thing with this recipe is you get to, like if you don't like the vinegar smell, you could add less vinegar. And then also the lemon essential oil, it helps mask that kind of white vinegar smell.
And I don't remember if I mentioned this already, but you can use this to clean your diffusers. So I actually keep one of these next to my diffusers to make it nice and easy. So I'm gonna add about um, 20 to 30 drops of lemon. Right, so I just did 20 because there was already some left in here and I just wanted to refill it for the video. So, but that is, that's it, you guys. That is as simple as it gets right there.